the slug and the snail were the best buddies that any gastropod could wish to have. They spent hours munching away at plants and decaying matter. The one problem that they had was that the slug was envious of the snail's shell and wondered why he was born deficient of protection. The lack of shell made the slug less attractive to all the other creatures in the garden. Although a lot of people could cope with snails, nobody liked slugs. A French garden is a joy for wildlife. Jean-Claude, who had the garden these friends lived in, grew a huge variety of crops. Asparagus, lettuces, cabbages and, of course, garlic along with the other many tasty plants. One day Jean-Claude was harvesting his bounty when he decided to collect the snails that were eating his vegetables. He avoided the slug, too ugly, too slimy and very revolting. The slug was intrigued by the collection of his neighbours and his friends. Perhaps they were being invited to a feast. Uh -huh. They were, as it happened. The slug moved at a snail's pace to the wall of the kitchen. It climbed the wall slowly until it reached the window. Adjusting its eye stalks to obtain a good view, he saw the snails, one by one, being dropped into a cooking pot. He saw his friend being picked up. Just as he was being dropped into the pot, he saw the snail, his best friend, look at him with tears in his eyes. He was envious of the slug's lack of a shell, a portable house. The slug dropped to the ground and made its way to the bottom of the garden. The following day, Jean-Claude emptied his recyclable rubbish into the compost heap. Usually a source of good waste for the slug, this new arrival contained shells. As he made his way towards them, he saw the empty shell that had belonged to his best buddy. Rather than climbing into it, the slug thanked its lucky stars that it had never had a shell. He had avoided being caught, being cooked and being eaten with garlic butter. Then the frog snapped him up. The time for the end of a great friendship had come for both of them for the time being. When the frog was caught and its legs were eaten, the essence of the two best buddies met again in Jean-Claude's stomach. The moral is, we have to be grateful for what we have rather than to be unhappy at what we do not have. When we envy others, we should use our desires to motivate us to do more to move forward in our lives to achieve what we want. Envying others never gets for us what they might have. Only our own efforts will achieve our goals.